Hi, greeting from São Paulo, Brazil. This is Pastor Jimmy. How are you, brothers and sisters all over the world? Hey, uh, it is a season, I guess. Uh, it's a December. Uh, it's uh, almost going to middle of December. And as you see, uh, there's Christmas tree. Yes, it's Christmas time. It's a Christ mass. Huh? That Jesus is added to your life. Amen. But just remember that He is the reason for the season. This is not for us to be boastful about what we have done, but this is all about what God has done in our lives. Amen. Now that is why we also worship together in the name of Jesus Christ. The reason why is that, yes, it is all the cause to celebrate. As we are not mourning for someone who is dead, but we are celebrating. The resurrection life of Christ and furthermore since we are the one who were crucified with Jesus Christ and we are born again in the name of Jesus Christ yes we are celebrating the lives born again lives life of a resurrected power of life that God has promised amen that's why we are here that's why we are sharing the words of God but you know what we have to be very careful it is not just uh, what has been done, but it is also for what it will be done. That's why the Lord commanded us to complete our salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. So we will not be wasteful. We will not be wasted times and efforts and all the uh, things we do. So please do not live in vain, but live in truth. For the truth and for the glory of God. Amen? It's just here. In mosquito. Hey, uh, what we're going to get into is the first, uh, second Peter, second Peter, chapter 1. It's very important that uh, what God has uh, enlightening us this morning. Let me show you this. From verse 3, chapter 1, verse 3. Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Yes. But Jesus has called us for the glory of God and for the goodness of God. Amen. It has a, a clear intention. It is, not just to, it, it is not just for us to get into heaven per se, but it is for us to become heaven. You know, we don't go to heaven, we become heaven. Just like we don't go to church, we become the living temple of God. Amen? Just like that. You know, many misunderstand. You know, devil may want to uh, let you use the same vocabulary, but totally in different context, totally different intentions. So do not be deceived. Even to your own knowledge, always be confirmed in the words of God. So it, it is... So it is correct knowledge. So it is true heart of God instead of just man's mere understanding about God concept. You know, we are not after God concept. You know, we are not after even a God particle. But we are all about being with Christ, being with God, walking with God. So it has to be real. It cannot be so just called some, some may call it as a theory or wish-washful thinking. Yeah, let's be real. But to do that, God is commanding us this. You know, let, let us go in here. From verse 3, once again. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and goodness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Through these, He has given us His very great and precious promise so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. Yeah, you know what? Even though we may have a faith, yes, devil always, you know, attack us, attack you using evil desires. So remember, it is still war that we have to go through. Yeah, you have to. Be very careful. We have to be very careful about our evil desires that we are tempted. Often, isn't it? And he goes on. For this very reason, make every effort to add 
to your faith, goodness. And to goodness, knowledge. Okay. If you have a faith, don't, don't just be boastful. Oh, I have a faith. Remember, faith is a gift from God. Amen. You have a faith, good. But you have to you have to go further. You have to add to your faith. Goodness. See? But let's say you you have a faith, but it is not you cannot really categorize as the goodness from God. Uh, you may have a faith, but it's so mad. <laughs> it's so irritated. It's so self consented itself. It's just for your own selves. And you have to be very careful. And it goes. And to goodness, knowledge. Yeah. You know what? Let's say you have a, a faith and it, it, it seems great and good. You know? It sounds like, it seems like you have a goodness quality with it. But if you are lack of knowledge with that, you may misunderstand. So please, do pray and proceed so God may allow us and add us the knowledge to our faith. That with the goodness, but also knowledge. Amen. But it goes on. Self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love. For if you possesses these qualities, important, these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So now we understand why so many of us live the life of ineffectiveness. Even though they say, we say, we believe in God. Because maybe we are so dependent on just faith alone. But do not examine our faith. Then what kind of faith we have? What kind of a quality of a faith we may have through God? So it is critically important that we become very uh, decisive and discern with the intention of God. Let us not settle with what we already know. Let us not settle with what we think we already have, may have. But proceed with the intention of God. Amen. So we will be effective. And we will be fully God, Godly intent to impact the whole world in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I believe we have to train ourselves. That's why we call ourselves disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen? Because we are in training. We are following Christ. We are not saying that we have done it. We are not saying that we, we have completed. Yes, salvation in Christ is completed. But it is God who start our faith and, and finish our faith. Amen? And if we truly believe that, where are you with God? Are you walking with God? Is He asking you to run? If He asks you to run, you better run. If He asks you to hop, hey, you better hop. Whatever God says. But if we do follow intentions of God, yes, all these quality will be within us. So we will become effective tool of God. Amen. It's very important. Let me just go on. They will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But if anyone does not have them, he is nearsighted and blind. So we know now, God is not just recommending. This is commandment. Otherwise, we do not follow the steps, we will be what? Nearsighted and blind. And has forgotten that he has been cleansed from his past sins. You know, sins, there are many different kinds of sins. You know, when we were dueled, 
because our conscience wasn't cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. We thought just doing the evil thing was a sin. But now we know. Our conscience became very sensitive. And now we have to know there are different kinds of sins also. Sins of being ineffective. Yes. Yes. And also, sins that we are not really being productive in the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe we are so deceived in our own selves because we think of ourselves comparative to before. We compare our lives before we were born again and say, hey man, I'm pretty good, you know, hey. Not bad. Really? Jesus didn't die for not bad. He died for glory of God. So you may become the glory. Yes, if you look at Isaiah chapter 62, verse 3 and 4, you know, God, God clearly says, yes, 62, says, you are like a crown of God. Crown of God. Wow. Which means when people see you, even though they may not know God, they never met God, they will see God through you. That is why Jesus was crucified. That is why Jesus was resurrected. So you may be resurrected with Him. So you may become living life, worshiping God. So God may be glorified through you. So please, let us proceed. Let us not just talk about our faith, but let us grow. Let us grow. If God allows, yes, it will happen. So we may have a faith of Jesus Christ. And once again, I'm going to read it to you, with you, once again. His divine power has given us everything we need for our life and good godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Through these, He has given us His very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. Hallelujah. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, perseverance, and to perseverance godliness. Hallelujah. And to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness Love. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's right. So we are not just talking about mediocre love, right? This is love that completes. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measures, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But if anyone does not have them, he is nearsighted and blind, and has forgotten that he has been cleansed from his past sins. Therefore, my brothers, be all the more eager to make your calling and election sure. Amen. For if you do these things, you will never fail. Ha! Ah, you don't want to fall? And you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, God bless you and keep you. But let us live the life. Amen. Make very sure. Don't just be religious. Be practical. But to be practical, you have to disciple yourselves to our King Jesus Christ. Amen. And put our uh, every effort to do so. God bless you and keep you. From Sao Paulo, Brazil, this is Pastor Jimmy.